Hello. So today I'll be trying to code an application in NIMP. It's going to be this is going to be our first session. Um, let me just fix some of the stuff I'm working on right now. Okay. Let's see. Mm. Do you hear me in any way? Maybe someone's there watching. I'm seeing two viewers. I'm not sure if you are. Oh, okay. We do. We do have a viewer. All right. So we are trying to code an application that is going to encode, not encode, but annotate an image and textual data. But before really starting to do that, let's plan it a little. Because planning stuff in NIM or in any other application is a must if you're going to do something in the long, in the long run. First of all, let me just get rid of all of these. Because I want to start something absolutely new. Uh, I'll be using Nimble as my package manager. I'm not sure if there are any other uh, package managers, managers out there for Nim, but I'll be using Nimble. It seems, I think it's the official one anyway. Okay. All right, so let's see the help for Nimble. In order to, we don't want to install, we want to initiate Nimble init. Uh, my name, U M or let's say Viva Lambda. Let's say library. Initial version, okay. Package description. New awesome nimble package. I like that. Um, but let me uh, say something more about annotating image and textual data for that twist. Mid license, GPL license, GPL tree. Because we love open source. C, lowest supported NIM version. It should be uh, 1.0 because I want we want it to be stable. We want a stable version of the NIM. Okay. Well. Oh no. It created. It created a Git project package. Sounds fun. Doesn't sound like fun. So I should remove the source. I, w I expected that it prompted me with something like what would be the name of the package or something like that. But well, let's get rid of that. Um, let's restart that. Um, let's say annotator. Or digitals. Digitals. That was the name of my old package. Uh, my name Viva Lambda because we love Lambda calculus. Package description annotating images and texts with a twist. 
and GPL lowest supported version and now our package should be ready oh so it created a test tests file as well I should be working on that all right so what do I have here I have a source file and tests file let's see what we have inside okay requires nim do i require anything else uh not for now maybe weaving maybe uh, annotating images would require an interface of some sort i should be doing that Maybe with another library. Not sure. Not sure right now. We'll see it. We'll pass that bridge as we come to it. When we come to it. All right. Okay. So let's create something in the source. Oh, we already have something on source file. Source submodel. Okay. So we have an entry point of some sort and some submodule, which maybe imports that submodule. Okay. All right. All right. Um, what do we do now? Let's document a little. Let's create a new folder called docs. And in it, let's create, um, let's see, name documentation, name documentation, documentation, how to document name, how to document your code, something like that. Standard library, language manual, compiler, user guide, maybe. Let's see. Configuring generated uh, cross compilation, cross compilation for Android, that's nice. Additional features, NIM documentation tool, C doc N documentation. Okay. Good. Um, good. Uh, all right. It seems like it accepts uh, RST. That's nice. That's cool. M file input document types name JSON doc sample name doc project file name index switch C source switch and of course you see files Uh, source code highlighting okay so we can highlight source code for nim in rst files all right let's do that then let's create a 
spec file. Maybe not need file there. Annotator specification. Nice. Of course, both were Viva Lambda date some date Definitions. Definitions. Annotation. Let's define what an annotation is. An annotation is um, a function. So a that takes something as or a subset of something something and it outputs uh, a set of terms associated probability degree associated with a probability degree where so that such that terms are known they need to be controlled So annotation is this basically. I have something and I associate it as a function, I associate it to a set of terms, let's say a subset of terms with a degree of probability. This is what, this is how we define the annotation to be. All right. Does this work? We take in something and we associate it to a set of terms, with a degree of probability. Um, set of terms with a degree of probability. I would say almost, but the problem with this thing is that uh, when we want to apply this to images, it's going to be a little problematic. going to be a little problematic. Okay. Hmm. What do we do then? What do we do then? The document. Let's say document
document. The document is um, a group of annotations. We can define it as a group of annotations. Or we can define it as uh, as a set which contains most all of the let's say where T is the set of uh, set of control terms and P is Probability, probability. The document is is a set of these, basically. this basically I should use probably math environment for marking these and here we do a two I'm sorry for this wait should hmm. I Okay, so, um, sorry about that. T is the set of control terms, P is probability, so it has to be between 0 and 1. And a document is a group of annotations. We can say that, but a document uh, document would also contain non annotated, non -annotated uh, terms as well. So let's say let's define first raw document, which is. Either an image, uh, either an image or a text document, a document that contains textual data, annotated document. So let's define annotate. is basically a group set of annotations set of annotations which is produced by applying annotation function to the raw document so uh, let's write it down um a d let's say a d d d d a okay now now it's more or less clear d a is um, the set Is a set of is a set of annotated parts 
of raw documents. Okay. Raw document, let's say, let's call it, uh, let's call it what? Uh, uh, MDR. Let's say one. And da, 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 da. A E S maybe you should say S one S two S E Such that S is in DR. Okay. So basically, this is what we are trying to obtain, and this is what we are going to be starting with. And we would be applying this annotation to this in order to obtain this. Okay. Now, before really getting on with serialization and how we actually do that, let's think about also what are what would be the properties that would hold for annotated document? What would be the qualities that we would be requiring? Um, for this annotated document, and I, for, for me, that there, there's like a single thing that I'm very, I would like to achieve at all costs, almost, and that is, of course, differentiation. Each annotation must. must be or if we don't have if each annotation is not differentiable um, we won't be losing that much hopefully but if it is differentiable we can use all sorts of uh, artificial intelligence algorithms much more easily because we would be able to use gradient and gradient based algorithms relatively easily so uh, so we we want to make these each of these elements differentiable from each other and not because not just uh, and not just something that would easily distinguishable we want to be able to make annotations a function of what uh, what they're applying at that is in most of these cases you would use a time-based uh, stamp to differentiate all the or you you uh, universal identifiers u u e d i think it, that was it a universal identifier to come up with uh, with a solution to identify each other each element with something unique here we should try something else i'm i want to do something else and that's a twist uh, we won't be using timestamps so differentiation differentiation should not come from timestamp or UUD or something or any other ad hoc 
solution it should um It should come as a result of this annotation function, annotating function. It should come as a result of annotation function. Basically, basically, all same input should map to same output that's basically this basically means that this basically means that in a sense then uh, in a sense then the annotation is a it's a correspondence between a set of terms with a degree of probability and the incoming thing either a text or image but it should also be but if we want it to be something that is uh, differentiable due to its result it has to be what it has to map the same input to the same output all the time okay that's a given but what if we want to change the output what if we want to change uh, the output that it maps to for example what if we want to change the probability or the terms that it maps to well <laughs> uh, this uh, thank you for trolling that's uh <laughs> that that that's that's a nice way of uh, expressing your anger, sir. Thank you for that. Um, hope, thankfully, we are not coding in Python, but we are coding in uh, Nim then. So we are not at the at at your first side. Okay, <laughs> that that got me in a laugh, honestly. Okay, um, so so it should all should come as a result of annotation function. Okay. So how 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 we map that? How we how we do that? That's uh that's the question. Um. And I still haven't figured out the EO part. I should be thinking about it sometime. But let's let's think about more EO now. Input output. The input output's JSON. Thank you. Uh, we there's already a good library for JSON and NIM, so I would be using JSON. And the paradigm should be something close to functional, maybe. Not sure. Oh. Okay, so we have a function called annotation takes a raw document as input and it outputs an annotated document that's nice that's cool um, each annotation must be differentiable with respect to 
its result. But what if some guy wants to change uh, the result of the annotating function? Should it be able to change the probability or should it change uh, the, the terms that it maps to? I would like to say both. I would like to say both. Um, so it should be able to change both of them. The set of terms and the set of uh, and the probability that it's associated to. Okay. Should we then annotate the annotation? No. Um, that's not a problem. Oh. That's not a problem. That's not a problem. Oh, yes. This is not a problem. As long as... Uh, as long as what we have is a set, this is not a problem. That is... As long as I have unique elements here in this set, in the output set, this is actually not a problem. Oh, okay. That's, that's nice. That's good. That's good. That's good. Yeah. So, uh, so, as an interface, I would have something like Input out with JSON, okay. So, uh, as a steps or interface, let's say, I would have three major steps. Um, here we go. Something that segments the document, something that uh, splits the document apart, something that applies, okay, uh, split raw document, basically my steps would be annotation function steps annotation annotation steps so this is going this is the pseudo pseudo algorithm of annotation function annotation function input doc part Output set of terms associated to a probability. Um, take doc part, uh, take terms. Verify that no similar association occurs in the annotated document. Basically, one, two, three. Verify that no similar association occurs in the annotated document. Uh, verify that no similar association occurs in the annotated document. 
let's open that a little no the same doc bar do not not have any other probability associated to it to it the same doc bar do not have any other probability associated to it okay same if there is already an association raise an error okay so if where if I If there's a already if there's already an association, raise an error. Associate term to dog bar with a given probability. Then then what? Then Add the association to annotate document. All right. Nice. We can transform transform this directly to code. Uh, let's say source annotation name uh, author Viva Lambda license C license terms probability proc annotate For now, we don't have anything called dog part. Let's let's write something called dog part. Dog part. Dog part is um, these are all called in. These are all already specified in. in where objects of type dot part objects content let's say Can be string, I guess. Dog part is a sequence of terms. Term type term 
Another object. Sequence of terms. And probability value of both. And it returns what? And it returns. Also takes annotated document, of course. A doc. document. Annotated document. Object. Content. What is an annotation? Type annotation again, object we said that. An annotation is what? An annotation is a tuple is a set of terms and is a set of terms associated to and associated to doc file a certain doc. So we should have sequence of terms, probability, sequence of terms, probability, terms, term, probability, flow. Sequence of terms, probability, and what? And what? Sequence of terms, probability, and it's top parts eventually. Uh, and it's input, it's a doc part because I don't have. Let's say doc. Maybe that sounds better. Maybe that sounds better. All right. Why do I choose this language? Um, well, it's faster than Python. It's closer to, and it's readable. And I just want to try the language. There's a lot of hype about it, at least. I mean, I looked at the uh, slant chart. Uh, best time tested program programming language, something like that. Let me let me find a link. Uh, and it, this this language was at the top, so I thought I would give it a try. This is the best time tested programming languages, something like that. Uh, I'm not really one of the core developers or something like that. I just want to. Uh, well, yeah, try out the language. I found it. Here is the link. Basically, according to this chart, it's the top language uh, 
productivity enhancing, well designed and concise rather than time tested. It's apparently a very good language. Uh, and it's to be honest with you, it seems like a good one. I mean, not really very fluent with it yet, but it seems like a good one. What would you prefer? Well, honestly, your first remark prefers uh, C++ rather than Python. Uh, but I've done like a little C++ development as well, but I'm not really, sh I can't really say that I'm specialized on it. I mostly do like OpenGL and stuff like that. So annotation terms probability of parts. Uh, terms probability of annotation. We said annotation function should let document our code like a nice people, nice guys. B part is a document part that was deemed to be worthy of annotation um term set of terms that are going to be associated to document parts and Probability, probability, a value between zero zero and one, both of them excluded. And a final annotated dated document which contain which contains every annotation well one of the problem is should i be conserving the document uh, the part order in the original document in the annotated document or not that's going to be a little problem. Uh, that can be problematic. Well, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Still, we're kind of far away from that. Just for instance, we're just dealing with the annotation function. Annotation should annotation function should be agnostic to document order or anything related that related to that anyway okay then we shall see if this thing compiles or not but that's not the case yet take the doc part okay take the terms okay verify that no similar association occurs uh, in the annotated document all right um, and, uh, uh, in a doc 
let's see. Uh, was it war? No. Was it war in Nim? It was what? variables was this, the mutable variables were war yes yes it was war check let's say false content And to iterate over the sequence of terms, we use um, we use items, I guess. Items, yes. Items. Then we shall compare the terms, probability, and the dog part. E part is an uh, doc, then check true, check false. If turn. False if if probability is equals to and uh, probability check false. Okay. The syntax highlighting comes and goes. It's not the camera people, it's the syntax highlighting that comes and goes. If all is well, check is still true. Hopefully, if check is still true, we should add A doc content. Uh, we should first do an annotation, of course. Objects, objects, hello, objects. Let's run. Annotation doc depart terms terms probability probability okay. And all right, all right. If all things went well, I should update it. Document. If all things went well, this thing should compile. And how do we do that in NIM? 
How do we do that in Nim? Uh, nimble run, nimble compile, nimble something. Nimble, nimble. Nimble, nimble. No, it's not nimble. Nimble build. Build. Debug build. Nimble build. One messages has been uh, uh, nothing to build. Did you specify a module to build using bin C in your nimble file? What the fuck that means? Firewatch. Nothing to build. Okay. Why do you say that? You hurt my feelings. I just spent like half an hour developing you. You hurt my feelings in a rather discriminating way. Okay. Package installation. Package list. Let's test directly if our file compiles. It says it does not compile. First type parameter mismatch. But second notation, not the notation. In line 40. Or you say content add spec annotation. Okay. Doesn't want to add. Mismatch type mismatch grad spec annotation annotation but expected one of sequence adding is what then? How do we add two sequences then? Sequence add what do we do? Open arrays, secretives, what what do you want? What if I import a bunch of stuff? Would it uh, justify my use of add? Let's see. Uh, uh, Secretors. And okay, let's see. Import oh dear standard library import secretals and now let's see if it compiles. Still not, still not type mismatch. Is it the other way around? Maybe. No, 
Oh, it seems like I, I was using it in uh, normally. It seems at least any all uh, 20 seconds for the eyes. It's really important, people. I suggest you do the same. For 20 seconds, we close the eyes. Rub them, don't rub them because there are coronaviruses. So. Okay. Okay. Insert destination sequence source now. Delete, keep it, filter, apply, no, map, no. Deduplicate, sounds cool, but no. Concatenate, no. Algorithm, no. It doesn't like what we do. That's what I understood. It doesn't like it. Uh, and made up. If I do it this way, maybe it will come same thing, same thing. Let's change the algorithm. Let's change the order. Is it read only or something like that? Is that why it's complaining? There's no append function or something like that, right? Let's see the standard library index in NIM. And maybe we would have something more reasonable. Parse SQL, system, tables. System does it want us to import system? I don't think so. Weird stuff, weird, weird stuff. To be completely honest with you, I'm not seeing anything that can help me. If I say append, for example, doubly linked list, singly linked list, append child, append data. Should I reiterate through the Should I reiterate over the entire content to add this stuff? It seems like I sh that should be the sort of thing it expects honestly. Which sounds stupid, I know. Right. Okay. New content. Notation. Uh, 
Ads. Hello. And we create a new. Updated document content being new content maybe this would work yes it compiled thankfully it compiled okay this is a this is a nice change this is good. Now we can continue with our annotation function. We just need to define how to segment. Uh, so now we have the core functionality. That's this is good. If I have the document parts, if I have a sequence of terms uh, and a probability degree associated it I can add my documents I can add the document term document part associated to terms uh, to my annotated document which is more or less a what uh, which is a more or less like a database for my annotations good now, let's go back to the specification and see what we can change. We have the annotation function covered. That's nice. Let's uh, also change, let's have the functionality to change the annotations itself. So I have an annotated document and I want to change uh, the annotation of a given document part. Let's say, uh, let's see how we do that. Change annotation function. Annotation. Okay, let's write the specification of it, how it's going to function. Input. Uh, we can change the doc part, doc part but we, going, we, we would need to identify it, doc part ID or doc part itself. Um, let's say doc part ID. terms that we would like to add or subtract or basically the terms the new terms let's say new terms a new probability 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 new terms new probability New terms, new probability. And output would be output would be annotated document. Again, annotated document whose annotation has changed. Or a new annotation. input let's say input annotation new terms new probability and annotated document annotated document take term 
check take so far we are not interested in we are not interested in this we are interested uh, check if new term probability occurs any other of my parts check if new term and new probability association occurs for any other document part if it does not occur associate new probability new Uh, All right, let's see that. Proc change annotation. I see. Annotation and terms take term of probability a doc. Let's again document our code like good guys. Nice people. This is more or less the same. Here we have a document part that is deemed to be virtual communication. and annotation. All right. So same same structure more or less. We're going to have a check We're going to have a check um, Then For each annotation in a doc content items This time we're going to check equality for terms and probability. Uh, the tricky thing is tricky thing here is to is to have both of them different, but was not that the case for the and above
Okay. What I just changed means that if we have the same document part, it should be false. If we have the same association and probability, it should be false. So, okay. good. We can, that means we can have same terms, but with different probability associated to a different thing. That means we can have same terms, but different probability associated to different things. Is it viable? Is that a good thing? Can I have It's okay. I would say it's it's all right. Because it's in the specification we said it's the unit the tuple that needs to be unique, not the probability nor uh, the set of terms we use. It's the uh, it's both it's their union that has to be unique. So let's so let's keep the end condition that way. All right. Or a doc content. Probability equals um, probability. Prob equals check false. New and rotation. We populate the new annotation list. Since uh, the objects are uh, read-only uh, immutable by default, uh, we need to repopulate or recreate the, uh, the annotation, the annotated document. Uh, I'm thinking maybe I should uh, write another iterator to specify continue all of the original documents layout raw document layout instead of instead of this but well we'll think about that afterwards okay so this is good if check is False. True. True. If check is true, we create another annotation. This time, the doc part comes from the anno argument. Terms are terms. Terms are terms. And probability is probability. Prob. Let's uh, again create another document, annotated document, we need to add this of course, to our newly 
new annotation sequence in and let's compile this and see if we can make something out of this okay apparently i imported secretals but i haven't used it nice to hear thanking them it does compile uh in a relative in a relatively faster way is declared but not used annotate is declared but not used okay that's that's normal so annotation function we have a function that annotates document parts and we have a function that change uh, the annotation of a given annotation which is nice which is nice uh, but it changes the the order in which the annotations are applied so it would be, it would be better if we can insert uh, the annotation to its original place It would be better if we can insert the annotation to its original place. We can probably do that during the iteration here. Uh, okay. Let's see if we have an insert function in insert secretals insert. We do have insert. From source to destination. Insert from source to destination. Source destination insert. Insert source. Okay. Insert source. So annotation position. We need its position. We created the annotation. Now um, check false. We should also exclude the old annotation. We should also exclude the old annotation while we are iterating. That's also important. If on And probability is equal to, or let's not say it, say it this way. Let's simply say uh, pop the old position. Let's say that. Or remove, or something like that. Remove, pop. Oh, come on now. Slices, it's not slices. I don't want to add something, I want to delete something. Okay. 
Okay, so what's the remove function? No remove function. While statement, for statement, scope, block, events. A lot of stuff here, but not really something elementary as remove. Is that it? Object-oriented programming, thank you. But I'm just trying to delete. Delete. Remove. Come on now. Remove. Delete. Okay, we have a delete function. Yay! We have a delete function. Yes! But I should use the secretals. Secretals. Delete. New count insert post. This should be okay. Let's see if it compiles. And it compiled. Good. That's nice. So, this is going to be it for today, people. We had, we had written two functions. They represent the core functionality of what we are trying to achieve. And... Um, in the next uh, in the next session in the next session we will be exploring how we can overload operators um, to come to do some of the stuff we require here for example comparing terms comparing uh, document parts uh, so we're going to need overloading some operators for that Okay, um, thanks for watching, so take care, bye.